rectangle bales sort of about four or five meters long yeah the mice started to live in there and eat it and yeah sort of pulled it apart from the inside and yeah sort of can't use it even when it's like this just fuck the mice urinate through it and yeah it can't sheep can't use it at all because if they're pregnant they abort and yeah it makes it no good for us at all there's nothing really we can do with it at all apart from start all over again which isn't very good but yeah, it's just, yeah, what's become. This is the crops being sowed. They've been going down, digging into the crop and eating it. Doesn't allow it to come up, or as they just start to come up and poke their head through the soil, they've just been biting the heads off, biting the tips off them, just slowing them down. critical point now where if we don't significantly reduce the number of mice that are in plague proportions by spring, we are facing an absolute economic and social crisis in rural and regional New South Wales. So not only are we providing those free baits and treatment facilities for farmers, free of charge, removing all of the cost of baiting for mice in paddocks, but we also have applied to the federal government for emergency approval for a poison that is four times stronger than anything that's available on the market at the moment, a product that is currently illegal in Australia because it is so toxic and we're having to go down this path because we need something that is super strength, the equivalent of napalm to just blast these mice into oblivion. <laughs> 